electrochemical cells can be represented using something called a cell diagram or an electrochemical cell diagram. Now this is simply a simplification of this drawing here and it looks like this. So let's examine our full drawing. So within our anode there's an oxidation reaction. So copper salt is oxidized into aqueous copper and it releases electrons. Electrons travel in this conductor to this metal bar, the cadmium, the cadmium solid, and then the electrons react with our aqueous cadmium to forming our solid cadmium. So reduction occurs in the cathode and oxidation occurs in the anode. Now this diagram is very tedious to draw. We can represent this diagram in a simple way using the cell diagram seen on this side. So these guys are equivalent uh, representations. Now the double bar in the middle, the vertical double bar represents our salt bridge. The single vertical lines represent our separation of phases. For example, we have our solid copper and our aqueous copper. So aqueous copper found in solution in beaker 1 and the solid copper is this electrode bar. The same way that we have the electrode bar on this side and aqueous copper on this side and this is our separation of phases. The same concept on this side. This cadmium bar is separated uh, by phases uh, in this solution. So we have the ions here and the solid cadmium in the bar. The same way that this bar here, this vertical line, represents these two phases. Now this is our anode and this is our cathode. So the thing on your left is always the anode, the thing on your right is always the cathode. And electrons travel from this guy to this guy. So the way you read this is that copper solid is oxidized, releasing two electrons and this ion. Now these two electrons travel to this side into the cathode and in the cathode they react with the cadmium forming our cadmium solid. And this is how you read the cell diagram for any electrochemical cell.